In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to take spatial objects, find the boundaries of them, and then normalize all of them so they all are the same size in a square. So let's look at an example. So the first example, so each of these is a, is a, um, a route for the city of London for the buses. If I, what I want to do is I want to end up creating this kind of blob here and I want to be able to highlight a route. So let's say the number seven and I want to be able to normalize all of them. So anything that starts with a seven, for example, will get highlighted like that. So let's see how to do that. This involves some level of detail expressions, which can be really useful for, for finding boundaries of anything. So the first thing we do is going to go ahead and connect to the data. And in my case, it's just simply a, uh, a list of all the bus stops in London and uh, how the, the sequence of how those all work together. So I have two sequences, one, uh, one direction and then back, I'm sorry, two, uh, two route, uh, I have the route number, the sequence, the stop, and then its location. So let's first just build a regular map. So the route needs to be a dimension the sequence needs to be a dimension. So the route, I'm gonna actually make a string so that we don't lose some of the routes. So for example, um, if I go down toward the bottom, you'll see some of them start with letters. So I don't wanna lose any of those, which is why I need to make the route a string. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on latitude and longitude. And let me just go ahead and filter down to a single route for now. And then I'm gonna make the mark type a line and I'm gonna put sequence onto the path shelf. And there we go, we have the city of London. And let me go ahead and change my, uh, my map. I'm gonna make it a street map. And let's make the line color black. Okay, and if I make it a bit fatter, it'll be a bit easier to see. Right, so now if I zoom out on the map, you can see the route for the number five bus. So let me go ahead and show the filter for that. And if I do maybe the 11, um, the 65 used to be one that I would ride a lot when I lived in Kingston. And that just goes straight uh, from uh, Kingston up to Ealing and so on and so forth. So uh, which one is near the data school? Number nine, I think is near the data school. No, wrong one. Uh, anyway, you get the idea. So um, now if I go ahead and I take the route off of the filter shelf, you can see I now, uh, uh, I now get this kind of weird line because it's connecting a bunch of different things. Yeah, there's just connecting the sequences. So I need to put the route onto detail to see each, each individual route. So now let me shrink the size back down and uh, we can see each of the individual bus routes in London. Okay, if I want to put the stop name on detail, you'll see it splits it up individual dots, which I don't want. So I'm going to move the stop name to my, uh, to my tool tip and notice how it turns it into an attribute. So now if I go ahead and show the highlighter and I wanna show maybe the number eight bus stop, uh, you can see the number eight bus stop, it has the stop name, the sequence and the latitude and longitude. So very good. But what I wanna do now is I wanna make all of them the same size. So in this case, uh, the number eight looks like a relatively short route. If I pick maybe the 65, it's a bit longer and I wanna go ahead and make them all square. So if I go back to my previous example, if I look at the 65, you'll see it actually goes uh, on a bit of a just kind of weird uh, zigzag line. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and find the boundaries, the, the top, the bottom, the left, and the right. And then I'm going to do a bit of math in order to have them uh, all turned into squares. So let's see how that works. So the first thing I need to do is for each route, I need to find the top. So let me go ahead and create a, and let me actually, what I'll do is I'll filter it down to just the 65 so we can get an idea of what it's gonna look like. And I'll go ahead and I'm gonna put the latitude onto the text and put the longitude uh, on top of that. So I get my measure names, measure values. Oh, let me go ahead and make this discrete and put it in the rows. Let me make this one discrete. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the rows as well and I'll put the sequence on the rows. So we can see each of these, what I wanna do is across this um, route, I wanna get the maximum latitude and longitude. So let me create a calculated field and I'm gonna call it top. And for this one, I wanna fix it on the route. So for each route, I'm gonna get the maximum longitude. 
And there we go. So a simple level of detail expression, same for each route, just find the maximum longitude. So I'm gonna hit okay. And uh, it's a number now, which is fine, but I'm gonna go ahead and drag that to the rows and then uh, convert it to discrete. And there we go. So now we can see the top um, is uh, 2287. So it's gonna be somewhere, but you see that the whole idea though is that this number is repeated all the way down. Now I'm gonna change my default aggregation for this one to be an average and uh, change this to an average. Uh, no particular reason for that. I just I just want to be consistent with the latitude and longitude of the other fields. All right, so then to do the bottom, I'm going to again create a, I'm going to call this one the bottom, and this time it's going to be fixed on the round. So same thing for each round. I'm going to get the minimum longitude. So that's going to give me the bottom. Let's hit OK. Uh, and uh, let me go ahead and drag that to the, oh, let me change the default number format first number format, or not number format, sorry. I wanna change the default aggregation and set it to an average. And if I go ahead and drag that to the rows and then make it discrete, you can see I now have the same uh, points, the same latitude and longitude for um, the top and the bottom. Okay, great. So now I need to get the left and the right, which would be based on my latitude field. So um, I'm gonna just go ahead and yeah, let me just go ahead and create a new calculated field. So my left is going to be, again, fixed on the route. So for each route, I want to get the um, minimum latitude. Okay, and hit okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drag that. Oh, let me, again, let me change the default number format, default properties aggregation average, and this time I'll just duplicate that field to create the right. So in this case, the right, the right boundary is going to be my maximum latitude. Ah, shoot, there we go, hit okay. So now I can put both of these uh, on the row shelf and show you how that works. And I'm gonna make them both, oops, I'm gonna make them both discrete. Okay, so now you see we have the same numbers there as well. So what we need to do next is we need to create a point. So this is where, uh, actually no, the first thing I need to do is I need to, uh, in order to determine the, uh, to create those new squares, so if I go back to my example, um, to adjust it to be a perfect size square, um, what I need to do is I need to look at the original route and I need to determine how far uh, I'm gonna create a new latitude field and I wanna determine um, kind of like a ratio. So I'm gonna look at the, um, let's see if I go here, I wanna look at how far, so that's the maximum. Let me just go down here to this example. So what I wanna look at here is how far from the, um, uh, the, the uh, left edge is this particular point and then how far is that as a ratio? So my left and my right is gonna determine the entire width. So let me just create a new calculated field so you can see that. So, uh, oh, sorry, uh, so this is gonna be my width. Um, and what I wanna say now is, uh, so I wanna take my average, uh, I wanna take the right minus the left, something like that, hit okay. And if I drag that up to my rows and make it um, discrete, you can see my width is 16,165. So what I wanna do next is I wanna say how far is my, uh, for my new latitude, I wanna say, uh, yeah, so I wanna say, uh, create a new calculated field. And let me double check and make sure I'm doing this right. So uh, I wanna say my new latitude is gonna be my left minus my latitude, uh, right? So uh, there we go. Okay, very good. All right, so I'm gonna, uh, now I wanna look at uh, how far, oh, that's okay. So let me do my new latitude. In this case, I'm gonna say how far is the left point from the 
uh, the latitude. So this is my left boundary. How far is that from the latitude field? And I want to divide that by my width. So this is going to give me a ratio. So the total width is 0.165. And I'm going to look at the ratio. So I get my left, la my left minus my latitude. So if I look at row number 10 here again, and uh, what I want to look at is how far is the left from the latitude field. So, uh, so the left is 50, let's see, 51,350. This is 51,363. So it's going to be like point, uh, oh, uh, what, oh, one, two. And I'm going to divide that by the total width. And that's going to give me a number between one and uh, zero and one. So let me, uh, that's fine. So let's drag that up to the rows and make it discrete. And now we can see, so for row number 10, we can see that it is 8% uh, from the start. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and create another field. This is gonna be my new longitude. And in this case, I'm gonna look at how far, so ever, actually let me do the, um, the height and my height is going to be my uh, top minus my bottom. So that's the overall height. So top minus bottom. And then I'm gonna create another calculated field that is uh, my new longitude. And that's gonna be the average of my, uh, uh, let's see, that's gonna be the top minus the longitude. So the top, and sometimes I get these backwards and I just have to figure it out, uh, minus the longitude divided by my height and hit OK. And I'm going to just, uh, so let's look at this one now and make sure it's working OK. So let's make that discrete. And uh, you can see now we have zero and one here. And that's because this point uh, is the, uh, let me reorganize these a bit. Uh, you can see my it's my bottom most point, so that's why it's assigned a value of 100%. Okay, so let me just double check and make sure I did that right. So I'm going to look at my new longitude, and this is going to be my top minus my, yep, yeah, so it looks like I did it right. Okay, great. So now what I need to do is I have these fields, so let me go ahead and get rid of all of those and I have my new latitude and my new longitude. So from those fields, I can then create a spatial point. So new uh, point. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use, my, use the make point function. And this says you need to pass uh, a latitude and then a longitude. So this is gonna be my new latitude, comma, my new longitude. Hit okay. And hopefully this has all made sense so far. Um, all I'm trying to do is, is force, I'm trying to find the ratio from how far each point is from the total width and how far each point is from the total height. So let me go ahead and drag, I'm gonna, uh, let me just go ahead and start like that. So I'm gonna create a new point and we get one object here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and put change this to a line and I'm gonna put sequence on the path shelf like we have before. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my halos. And let me go ahead and make the lines, uh, let me go ahead and make the lines black. Oops. So let's go ahead and make the lines black. There we go. And if I go ahead and show the, uh, if I make this a map background, so let me turn on my map. Uh, let's see, so streets, actually, can I make this? Yeah, so what you're gonna see now is this is going to be just out in the middle of the ocean because everything is between zero and one. All right, so let me turn the uh, map uh, back off. So, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, that's fine. Let me just set it to the light map. Doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so actually I'm gonna go ahead and set my background map to none. Um, Cause if I look back at this example, background, oh, and this is the light background map, okay. That's fine. All right, so now what I need to do is I need to include every single route on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the, um, I'm gonna take the route field and uh, I'm gonna move that to the detail shelf because I wanna see every single route. And we get kind of this blob. Uh, I wanna know each, uh, each 
stop the name. So I'm going to go ahead and put the stop onto the tooltip shelf. And I'm just going to go ahead and rename that. So stop. And we can see as we go through here, we've got a bunch of stuff, but it looks like just one big blob. So I'm going to go ahead and change the size to the smallest possible. And then maybe I'll reduce the color a bit. So let's reduce the opacity so we can see through them a bit more. So now when I just show my highlighter, and I can look at you know anything that starts with a five, for example. So you can see all of the routes that start with a five. Uh, if I want the 54, you can see everything goes from the bottom. Uh, you notice how everything has become, become a square. So if I look at the 65 or I look at the R68, you can see everything is fit into this perfect square. So um, yes, this isn't probably a use case you would do very often, but I think it's a really good way to learn um, how to write a level of detail expression to kind of find the left, right, top, and bottom of, of uh, latitude and longitude fields. But also, um, it helps you learn um, a bit of math as well. So everything is in a perfect square because everything is ratio of 0 to 1. So if I go ahead and uh, let me take my new lat, my new lawn fields and put those onto the tooltip. And what you'll see here uh, is my new lat is zero because I'm on the upper left. If I go over here, it's going to be my new latitude is zero because I'm still at the top and my longitude um, is, uh, is one because I'm the farthest to the right. If I go down to the bottom left, um, I have the opposite. So my new latitude is, uh, is negative one. And then down on the bottom right, we have minus one and one. So uh, yeah, hopefully you found that useful. Um, I don't think I have it backwards. Um, I hope not. Uh, so, uh, but again, this is just a, a, a really simple way for you to uh, know how to turn some fields into ratios. I just think it works really well with a map um, because then it helps us kind of see the data geographically. So hopefully you found that useful. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Have a good day.